In this video, we are going to talk about a core concept in differential calculus which is called the derivative. Okay, before we dive into that, let us uh, review some important concepts in our analytic geometry. So, in analytic geometry, we have learned that a line, we have a line, then it has a slope. Okay, and that slope is determined by simply selecting two points on that line, let's say points A and B, and getting getting the change in Y and divide it by the change in X. So therefore, the slope is equal to delta Y over delta X, or popularly known as rise over run. Okay? But in differential calculus, we just don't want to find for the uh, slope of a line anymore. We want to find the slope of a curve. Okay, so let's say I will draw here a curve. And I want, I want to find for the slope of this particular curve. Okay, so as you can see, this, uh, this curve has different points okay this curve has different points and each point would have a different slope and the slope at our particular point or at a particular point is the slope of the tangent line okay so let's draw let's draw a tangent line at point p let's say we want to find the slope at point p so manually it would be drawing a tangent line at point p Okay, and solving for the slope, but that would be very crude. That would be uh, uh, that would be somehow not as mathematical, no. So we apply the concept of uh, derivative. Okay, so we establish first that uh, this line. Let's say let's let's call this line line PT. Line PT. Line PT is. Oh, the slope of line PT, uh, I should say, the slope, the slope of line PT is the slope at point P. Okay, so we first establish that fact. So how do we mathematically solve for that? So let's say I select again another point. Okay, which is let's say p prime okay and if i will connect the two points p and p prime let's connect it let's use our ruler to connect the two points okay if i will connect the two points So I have the line PP prime. Okay, this line, the line P P prime will also have a slope. Okay, because so let's just uh, draw a triangle to see the slope. So we have here delta y and delta x. Okay. So the slope, the slope of uh, the line PP prime is equal to delta y over delta x, but that is not the slope of the curve, no? or that is not the slope that we are looking for. That's the slope of line PP prime. So how do we solve for the slope of point P? Okay. So how do we solve for that? Let's zoom in. Let's try to zoom in a bit. So let's say I zoom at 200%. Okay. So let's go to the center of my image. Okay. So that's a bit, uh, let's say zoom at 150%. Okay. So our problem is how do we solve for the, la for the how do we mathematically solve for 
the slope of PT, which is the slope at P. So, let's say I select a new point on the graph that we have made. Let's say I selected that point and let's uh, call it point 1. Okay? So, from point P to point 1, I could again construct. I could again construct another line. Okay, which will have again a slope, a certain value for the slope. So let's just connect that to illustrate my point later on. So what do we have here? We have here at point one, point one a new slope, but as you can see, from line from the green line which is uh, the line pp prime and the line p1 prime what do we observe okay what do we observe it's now closer it is now closer to our line pt okay it is now closer to our line pt actually if i again select another point again select another point which is point 2 and construct a line from point P, okay, I will have again another line, but the line is now closer to the line PT. Okay, so I hope you get what uh, what I'm trying to uh, point out here. Each time I select a point, each time I select a point which is closer to point P, each time I select a point which is closer to point P, the line that I can construct will go towards line PT. Okay? So, each time I select a point which is close to point P, I, the line is going closer or going towards the line PT. So, what does that mean? No? From point 1 to point 2, observe the change in X. Okay? If observe the change in X. So the change in x is actually getting less and less. No? If I select another point here, let's say point 3, delta x is getting less and less. And as you uh, have already maybe concluded, our conclusion would be uh, if delta x, no? if delta x will approach to 0, then I can then... Uh, the line PP prime, the line PP prime will approach, will also approach the line PT, which is, which is the slope of, at point P. So how do we mathematically, how do we mathematically, uh, how do we mathematically say that? First, we started with Delta y over delta x as our general, uh, as our average slope from point p to p prime. So let's start with that. We have delta y, delta y divided by delta x. But as delta x approaches to zero, so if we get the limit of delta y over delta x, so let me just uh, write that. Let me just write that clearly. First, we started with delta y over delta x. And we have established that, that as delta x lessens, actually as delta x lessens and then as delta x approaches to zero, the line pp approaches the line pt. So mathematically, if I will get the limit of delta y over delta x, as delta x approaches to zero, then I should get the derivative of y with respect to x, which is the slope at point P. Okay? So, I hope you get that idea, no? That as delta x lessens, and in this case, as delta x approaches to zero, then I will now get the derivative of, uh, I will now get the derivative of this curve. Okay? So, that is the general formula. Okay, so the general formula of the derivative is simply the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches to 
See you.